Here are your updates for June 30th, 2021. First, we've got some strat to G's for ATT. So if it's destroying your app performance, here's some ideas that you can do to adapt uh, from an article that I found in Stacked Marketer uh, by Eric Sufert. Uh, apologies if I didn't pronounce your last name properly, Eric. Um, what I thought was the most interesting about what he what he's talking about is going uh, he much more heavy into interest group targeting. Um, I still use a lot of interest groups, um, but also a lot of broad stuff. But it seems like he's saying um, the broad targeting is probably not working quite as well as maybe it was. Uh, this next thing, of course, very interesting, where typically we'd be optimizing for the uh, event furthest in the end of your funnel, like purchase or lead. And rec he's recommending considering bidding on different events, even just a simple click where that was kind of unfathomable for um, you know the last couple of years. And then a couple other things, revisit your landing pages and learn about modeling, but a lot of gold nuggets of ideas and strategies within this article that you can find by Eric Super. Next, new buying behavior. Facebook has shared some interesting statistics from nine different countries. Here are the ones for the US, 80%, 81% of consumers say that they've changed at least one shopping ha habit since the pandemic started. 55% uh, of sh online shoppers say, surveyed say that they buy products they come across while browsing. So a lot of positive data on how consumer behavior has changed or adapted over the past year or so uh, as it comes to purchasing online and their purchasing behavior. Next, Facebook is competing with Substack, a popular newsletter. They have a newsletter of their own. It's called Bulletin. It's officially live. Uh, it's not part of Facebook. It's got its own domain as a separate platform. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, but it does have Facebook's, uh, you know, quite substantial infrastructure and a reach to really get the word out about their newsletter. And some notable names, uh, Malcolm Gladwell, Aaron Andrews, and Mitch, Mitch Allum. Uh, Sundays with Maury, I believe, was Mitch, as I recall that name. Uh, next, we've got some stranger things here. It's not just that Netflix show. Uh, Facebook, or excuse me, Instagram is going more to showing posts by strangers, as opposed to only showing content from people that you follow. So this is based on the model of TikTok, where you just see random people stuff, and people are digging it. And so the platform is uh, adapting appropriately. So, yeah, super interesting stuff could help organic reach. I'd be super curious how, um, yeah, how that goes with, um, you know, posting and, and business, business social media strategies. Next, uh, if you ever wondered how does Instagram work exactly in terms of why do you see what you see on Instagram? And maybe this would cover what we just talked about in the last slide. Well, Adam Mossery, the head of Instagram, shared this tweet. You can find this tweet on his Twitter page. <laughs> I'm not a Twitter expert, as you can clearly tell, but he has uh, his article linked there, and you can read a lot more about how Instagram works. Next, this is, um, I guess, the thunder round, because it comes before the lightning round, and it's a little bit slower with sound traveling not quite as fast as as, uh, as light. I, I still under development. Let me know what you think of the thunder round. Uh, so, a couple quick notes: two lawsuits or antitrust lawsuits were dropped against Facebook uh, this past week by a federal judge. Good news for Facebook. Seems like they've had a lot of bad news lately. And then also, Facebook joined uh, the other big tech companies in the trillion dollar club. How cool is that? Uh, next, Facebook is really going into uh, their hardware with Oculus Quest 2 virtual headsets, uh, virtual reality headsets, and they're doing a ton with virtual reality. Um, these two snippets coming from the Daily Upside newsletter. And um, yeah, it looks like the company has reported 10,000 people working on virtual reality devices. A bit scary if you ask us. Well, Daily Upside, I don't know what's scary about that. I mean, I would love if they had evaluated that more. Uh, personally, if you got 10,000 people working on some virtual reality devices, those devices would probably be pretty kick-ass. Um, that's my kind of uninformed <laughs> opinion. Let me know what you think. Is it scary or is it not scary? Let me know in the comments. Uh, next, 
This is now popping up. You may have seen this warning in the previous year or so in your ad set level uh, where it says, hey, this ad set may get zero purchases, et cetera, et cetera. Well, now I found that when I hit publish on some things that this pops up before I can even publish it. So they're really putting this warning in front of you. Very curious how uh, this might have been affected with all kinds of tracking and iOS stuff. Uh, but it's they're really getting in your face about how you set up your ad and looking at changing some things to improve the performance. And now we've got the lightning round. Ding, 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 ding. Woo, yeah, lightning round. First, uh, Facebook and Instagram will allow you to discover live video and reels by expanding their story tab. Uh, next, advertisers using fake Twitter testimonials in their Facebook ads. And Facebook doesn't nah, really care. So something to keep out, uh, watch out for. If you're a consumer, uh, look out for Twitter testimonials because they may not be accurate. And next, Instagram. Linking outside of Instagram was always a pain. Now it's letting people share a link in their stories. Slowly, however. And lastly, Instagram, a social network, wants to show you more ads. They're testing a more like this option. When someone clicks on an ad in their feed, could be a good spying tool if your competitors target you or a way to funnel hack. I personally think as a consumer, I would I would use that. I often see ads where I'm like, you know what? I don't like this particular brand or company, but I want something similar. Or even, hey, this is something I'm interested in and I would love to do more research on similar type companies before I make a purchase decision. So again, personally, as a consumer, I would be totally down for that. As an advertiser, also down for that to uh, do some ethical funnel hacking and uh, market research for that matter. So those are your updates for today. I'll see you next week.